For all the writing I've done over the years, you would think I'd have words to write the most important blog post of the year, and yet I seem to be at a loss. January 1st, 2016, I found my voice when I hit publish on my very first blog post. I simply cannot believe it has been four years since then. Looking back at my first anniversary post, I cannot help but giggle at my vulnerable self. I sound so young, blind to the years of success I would soon face, and yet looking in the mirror, I still see so much of that same Mackenzie. In terms of my personal life, I wouldn't deem 2019 the best year of my life. But in the eyes of my business, now that, my friends, has been the wildest ride I could have ever imagined. On this day last year, I sat for most of the day in tears, overwhelmed by the love and positive response I received from you. The sweetest messages rolled in for much of the day, and I couldn't help but sit in awe thinking, Oh my God, I am chasing my dreams at 17 years old. These tears feel so familiar as they slip from my face the same way a year later. I don't think the feeling of following your heart will ever feel different. Starting my own brand at 14 years old has brought about a pride and passion so deeply woven in my heart that I don't think I could ever possibly forget this feeling. It is simply indescribable. A few weeks later, my dad drove me to the Big Apple where I joined Dormify to be photographed for their 2019 back to school collection. Just days later, I got my first magazine feature in Voyage Houston, highlighting the start of my blogging career. Come March, prom season was officially in swing and I had the opportunity to work with several different designers, modeling their stunning gowns the weeks leading up to my own big day. I wore the most beautiful Tarani Couture gown to my senior prom and a few weeks later began freelancing for them and in the summer for Dormco. In June, I bought myself a Canon G7X and began vlogging. My YouTube channel has taken off, at least in my eyes, over the year, and I've gained over a thousand subscribers through sharing hauls in my day-to-day -day life while at school. More importantly, I've gained a newfound confidence within myself and a new form of my brand that I have grown to love. At the end of July, I took my first real paid deal, and my gosh, was that exciting for me. It's been a long time coming, but it was rewarding as all get out. My main concern as I began my freshman year of college was seeing which direction Style by McKenz would go. I worried about it for months before leaving for Ohio, and I really questioned what the future for my brand was. I worked so hard to build this platform, and I feared that this would be stripped from me in a matter of months. It turns out I was wrong. In fact, I was very wrong. Blogging while at school has been the greatest challenge, but it's been the most rewarding few months of my life. Getting to further my education while following my dreams to the fullest is everything I could have ever hoped. Turns out college is exactly what my brand needed. Kent has forced me out of my comfort zone and into the real world. I have maintained and exceeded my posting schedules and experienced over 100% growth on Instagram, more than doubling my following and blog views in 2019 alone. I started working with bigger and better brands, landing my 50th deal of the year just weeks ago, and have created the most amazing relationships with companies I never dreamed possible. I spoke on my first entrepreneurship panel, had another feature in the Burr magazine, and just last week I booked my flight to New York Fashion Week in February. These are just a few of the things I have accomplished this year. I am proud of myself in ways I hadn't known possible until this year. But more than anything, I feel alive. Four years ago, I found my voice, but it was simply just a whisper. I could shout from every rooftop now because year four has given me countless brand deals, more clothes than I could ever know what to do with, and viewers from every country on this planet. But more than anything, year four has given me my voice. Year four has shown me that I am exactly where I am supposed to be. This, my friends, this brand is my calling, and I am following it with every ounce of my heart. So if I was standing on the highest building this world has to offer, here is what I would tell you. Just start. I've gotten asked dozens of times since being at school and meeting fresh faces how to get started with your own business. I hate to break it to you, but you can read as many self-help books, blogs, and Pinterest articles the internet has to offer, but nothing will prepare you for the crazy, beautiful, grueling journey that is starting your own business. Stop waiting for the next day or the right time. Start now.
My only regret about what I am doing is that I did not start sooner. Appreciate the journey. Every ounce of it. Take the road less traveled because my god the view is beautiful. And do it surrounded by people who make you better. Success is fun but it's more fun when you get to share the wealth. Have patience but not too much. Take risks but be smart. Be selfish but know when to credit others. Don't get your toes wet, just dive in. Head first and keep on swimming, but don't be afraid to come up for air. There is no use building something wonderful if you don't ever take a step back to appreciate the view. Chase fire and keep on chasing it. Run like there is no tomorrow, but don't be afraid to pause. Like I said, there is no use never taking a second to appreciate what is around you. But keep moving forward. If you want to chase success, do not fear failure. Failure is your friend. It is simply the stepping stone to success. If you want to see a change, make a change. If you want to follow your dreams, start chasing them. And if you want to know the best advice I have after four years of going after it, it is to play with fire. Ignite your fire. Fuel your fire. And then chase your fire. Burn with passion for all those around you to see because my God, there is nothing more beautiful than a vision coming to life. And don't forget to say thank you. So now it is my turn to say thank you from the absolute bottom of my heart. Thank you to my viewers who keep this site up and running, to the companies who have placed their confidence in me, to my family for helping me become the best business owner I can be, and to little old Mackenzie for taking the wildest leap of faith four years ago today. I don't think I will ever have enough words to express my gratitude for all Style by McKenz has had to offer me, but I hope this was a start. I am absolutely blindsided by where these next years will take me, but I know in my heart we will be going there together. Cheers to 14-year-old Mackenzie for the most life-changing decision and all the years to come. All my love, Mackenzie.